Hey everyone, Nocturne here and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. Now this is an intermediary period where I don't have really much to upload apart from a, yesterday's uh, video that I uploaded but today we'll be going back to Train Sim World 2 but we're not going to do LIRR this time so if you're an LIRR fan, my sincere apologies but we're going to go back to Train Sim World 2 actually so the London Underground Bakerloo line to be exact. So. London Underground is kind of similar to what we have here, it's just mostly all underground stations and stuff. And yeah, there's not much I know about London, but it's one of the most um, played in Train Sim World 2, the DLC to be honest. So let's not waste any time, I'm just going to make this a shorter video today. So I'm going to do a scenario this time, travelling the two. So from Elephant and Castle, Southbound Service, to uh, uh, Elephant and Castle. So let's do that. And yes, yeah, this this week has been pretty rushed for me, so excuse my lack of uh, up, up proper uploads. But I will be getting back to a regular schedule next week, so stay tuned for that. Right, we are back. And yeah, to start this train, you actually need to, like I said, you will need to con uh, do a very complicated stuff. That's how the London Underground works. But I'm going to try to do it now. So, control key is in, but it doesn't give me an option to... Hold on. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, I don't know what's, what's up with that. Do I have to use my mouse for this? I guess I have to use my mouse. Okay, then set this to inter traction brake control. Set it to emergency. Turn turn that off if I can. Set this to forward. Eh uh, yeah, shut that off. That was really loud and annoying. So we should be ready to go now. Uh, got to unlock the doors. Sorry about that. And is this a good opportunity for a screenshot? I think it is. I think we will head to the tunnels because it's more of um, that's more of um, realistic. So shut the doors. Let's quickly just get this done. I'm quite busy today. Press that and apply some power. Okay. Not too much. The speed limit's pretty low here. And I kinda like the London Underground. It's very I would say it's peaceful, you know. Tunnel there's not much of a background noise going on. It's just you and the tunnels and that's pretty much it. Okay, it's coast over here because we went downhill. Gentle braking. To maintain the speed and once we hit that 56 marker we can just go full send it all the way to all the way there yup there we go let's full send it yeah so this is what you're going to see for the majority of this video <laughs> just just dark tunnels and stuff so this will really put my commentary skills to the test but there's really not much else to commentate though. It's just it's just the London Underground tunnels. And yeah, it's really not much. But let's apply some brakes here. We are approaching the station. We don't want to speed too fast. And yeah, there, there the station appears. And we just gotta pull up. Slowly bring this to a stop. I think we're gonna make it. And bring this to a stop right about here. Very nice. Okay. See how we did. People are loading up. And let me just take a screenshot real quick. And we are back. So we just have to wait for a little while here before we close the doors. 
And yeah, I don't know why this says not in service though, at the top of the train here. I don't know why, if you've seen in the thumbnail, but... Uh, let's just move on anyways. Turn off the cap light for more immersion, why not? And let's set off. Slight melodic sound to this, I would say, just, just very slight. You know what, let's turn the light on. There we go. Next station would be... Maida Vale? There's probably a proper pronunciation for that, but I'm just not British enough. But yeah, if you were a train conductor over here in this country, Singapore, then this is probably what you're going to see most of the time, as most of our systems are all underground. Apart from the oldest ones, which run above ground, this one, most of the rest is underground, like the downtown line, northeast line, circle line, all those. It's gonna it's gonna get quite boring after a while. I have to I have to admit. It. And our restrictions for speed here is very, is very strict. So definitely you can't really over speed. You know, get the thrill of speed and stuff. And I'm gonna overshoot this. Yep, overshot it. Ah, okay. Huh? It's still okay. The the okay. Let's let's go take a look. Oh, the main door's still on the station, so that's fine. The first door. Doors. And let's continue rolling. Next stop, Warwick Avenue. Oh, that's very low. But produces a nice melody to it. These older trains, they make better noises than the newer ones. I'll just have to say that. Okay, we are nearing the next speed limit, 56. Type bends, hey. So for all my UK viewers, my English viewers, what is it like riding the tube? Is it very crowded, like Japan? One people just shoving. Is it like the New York, um, the New York City subway system where you know there's just people causing chaos, doing pranks on the on the lines? Are they, are they, is it something like that, or is it as you know, it's just a normal tube service that gets crowded sometimes during peak hours. Do let me know if you're from the UK, because I genuinely want to know. Okay, we're stopping a bit prematurely here, but that's fine. Okay, shut the doors now. You're a bit behind schedule. That is, that is my bad. Well, we can set off now, hopefully cover up for some time that we lost. Next stop is um, Paddington. Speed limit is reduced up ahead. And there's a few signals, but they're all green. Can I open this window? Oh, I can. that because the thing was glowing red at me. I don't like seeing things red. And we're just full sending it all the way to Paddington. Speed limit's 40 up ahead, I should probably start slowing down. 
And what do you know, the station's here. Oh, it splits off. Okay. It's like a track crossing thing. Yes. That is a tight bend. And that was nice, I think. And yeah, this is something we don't have, that train stations that are curved. Like the train stops and the platform's curved. That's something we don't have and I would think it's quite interesting to have. Okay, gotta take note, speed limit here is quite low, 32. Probably tight bends and stuff, that's why it's so low. Like the one I just went past. Next one is 56, and then 48 for the one right before the station. We are approaching the station, so I'm going to cut power. As per usual, slow down. It's a bit too early to slow down. I'm going to pull into the station first. Oh, it's another curve station, but this time it's on the left. Will I get this one right on the money? Right on the money. Come on, board up. And I like this implementation of the London Tube Underground step. Uh, but the drivers can actually, without sticking their head out the window, they can actually see the platform and stuff. Obviously, this is not working in the game. These are just like stock photos, but that's a nice touch. So you don't actually have to stick your head out the window. Right, next station... What? What's, how do you pronounce that? Ma I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Someone in those comments, please help me pronounce that. There's no way I'm gonna butcher a name on, on, on YouTube here. Bone. I'll just call it Bone Station for short. Okay, this station's pretty close to the, the previous one in the next. I hear another train going on to the side. Okay, stop this one nicely. You can see the people boarding and stuff. I don't know where Elephant and Castle is. That's a very intriguing name to name a station. Okay, time to set off. As you can see our oncoming train up ahead. Baker Street. Oh, yeah. I know that one. It's from the song by Jerry Rafferty. Very nice song. Nice saxophone solo. You guys should listen to it. It's the 80s one. But it sounds good. Finding my way down in Baker Street. Yeah, this is just basically all tunnels. And cut power right now. 
supply some bricks now. Oh, okay. We may need more bricks. Overshot that by a little bit. Everyone's loading up. I can't actually go free roam camera in this. I only can do it in photo mode. I don't know why. Because usually the button on the keyboard number three, the the, the number three button, is to free roam camera to see all around you. But I can't really do it in this. Maybe because it's all um all tunnels, and then you will clip through the tunnel walls. Then I can see basically wall hacks if you play FPS game. Train is pretty slow here. Regent's Park next station. I'm in max speed, but it's kind of slow. It's not accelerating as quickly as I thought it would be. Off on power. Yeah, we're approaching Regent's Park soon. There seems to be a very sharp bend coming up. Or at least the station's going Oh no, it's a very sharp bend. Must be uncomfortable as all hell though at this speed. Okay. We're here at Regent's Park. That couldn't have been a better stop. I'm proud of this stop. There's no one here though. But you know what that means. Time for a screenshot. Okay. Doors close. Then we move on to the next Oxford Circus. A kilometer away. Quite far in underground terms. Okay, next speed limit is 40. Should probably start slowing down. Okay, it's coming up right here after this signal, I think. But just before it, just before the signal. Yep. Next one is 32, the wheels are grinding on the tracks. That's not a pleasant sound. We are here at Oxford Circus. Let's ease it in. We are late by about 10 seconds. This is fine though. And I don't like how this this DLC is basically from it's the default one from Train Sim World 2. But it's pretty quiet, there's no ambient noise whatsoever. Oh, I uh, oh. Bad things are happening. I unlocked both doors by accident. Okay. Pedicle circus next. It's 
speed limit is still pretty low here. 32 kmph or 20 miles an hour. He's on the brakes. Next one will take us up to 48 though. Okay, we have permission to fly right on by to the next station, Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Place to see with the D's. And here we are, another truck crossing. And we can see into the other station as well. Very nice. Left side doors. Smoking is not permitted in any part of this station or on trains. This includes e-cigarettes. Ah, that's right. I'm not going to comment on that because it's quite a sensitive topic. But uh, yeah, no, no, no smoking on trains and includes vaporizers as well. I'm not going to comment on it. But I think that's a universal thing. Charing, Charing Cross. Next station. Start slowing down, the next signal is only 20 miles an hour. Oh, the grinding device. It always gives me that weird, like... I don't know, I, it's not really a cringe feeling, it's just like a, um... Like, ugh, kind of feeling. Makes me shudder. I don't know what you call that. I, I know there's a word for it, but I just forgot why it is. And we are good. Personnel tour this station 24 hours a day. Security personnel monitor the station. Yeah, that's that's. Wait, uh, is the London Underground 24 hours, a 24 hour line? There must be a last train timing, right? Embankment, next station. And it's only like what to 200 meters like 400 meters away when i started over there at the previous station so it's like from if you're in singapore it's from like oh what's a good um very close by stations like rosho and bugis and bankman another station with a curve double decker time machine uh, what this looks like a good movie i guess 
Or maybe it's a teaser. Maybe Dovetail Games will come up with a bus simulator next. UK bus simulator. Oh, that's wishful thinking. Right, Waterloo Station. Another classic song by ABBA, this time in the 70s. Okay, speeding through the tunnel right here, ups coming speed even it says 40. As much as I like trains, that is not pleasant. Oh, that was a smooth stop. Right on the money as well. Right. We should be nearing the end of our trip here. Elephant Cross should be the next station. Lambeth North. No, I was wrong. Next station is not Elephant and Cross. Yeah, but I uh, honestly, like, example, not, not even just for this London Underground thing. Sometimes in other scenarios as well, from different lines, like Alum Line, I don't know. I, I go by the buildings, you know, to recognize landmarks and stuff to see where I'm going. But for this side, this is just impossible to know whether I'm in central London, you know, in the Big Ben. It's just impossible to tell. If you have, if you don't live, if you have no knowledge about Great Britain and where and the and the London map. So I really don't know which one is um for example the Ooh, Jack Crossing. Like which one's the the main station, you know, where a lot of people get on and a lot of people get off. It's just a mystery to me. She just teleported, he just teleported. Ooh, okay, slow down more. And if this is true to life, like the loading of passengers timing, that's that's gotta be kind of you gotta be kinda of quick. Okay, the next station is Elephant and Castle. That's where we are terminating. About time. I don't know what all these buttons do, but I well, you know what this one does is to cut out the uh, hissing noise that basically makes my eardrums bleed. That's the wipers. Next speed limit 32 kmph. Not really there yet. Let's see the station up ahead. And I'm just gonna ignore the speed limit for now. I just want to get to the station on time. Apply bricks. 
Alright, this this line terminates here. Everyone, please get off. Okay. That pretty much settles that. Oh, I'm in a wall. Uh, help. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, we just finished the run. Okay, I was I thought I needed to reset my character or something, but looks like we are done. Um are you gonna show me how we perform? Yeah, that that's that's my score, I guess. Okay. So yeah, this is a bit of a shorter episode today. Hope you guys don't mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy this me if you do enjoy me me playing this line, please do let me know. I can play more of it in the future. But other than that, normal YouTube upload videos will be coming next week. So thank you again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll get to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.